like it hot. Cliffhanger hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me. Excuse me. We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. All of a sudden, Cliff sees you and decides to read you a story. How to get off a cliff. Nah. Then Cliff begins to read to you. The Three-Legged Pot, retold by Pilar Polanco, illustrated by Pablo Paz. In a pretty little house, at the bottom of a pretty big hill, a boy named Pepe lived with his pretty mother, Pepita. One day, Pepita decided to make Pepe's favorite dish, potato soup with peas, peppers, and parsley. Yummy! So she sent Pepe up the pretty big hill to his grandmother Paquita's house to borrow a big pot to cook the soup in. The pot was so heavy that Pepe could barely carry it. Oh, his pot must weigh plenty of pounds. Then Pepe noticed that the pot had three legs, so Pepe became peeved and started to pace. You have three legs. Why do I have to carry you? Walk for yourself. Go on, walk. But the pot didn't move. Pepe poked the pot. Come on, you lazy pot. Move. Poke, poke, poke. Walk. Poke, poke, poke. The pot suddenly tipped over and began to roll down the pretty big hill. Now that's better. I'll race you down to my house. That night, Pepita prepared the potato soup in the pot. Pepe thought it was perfect. Mmm, I love everything in it. The parsley, the peas, the peppers. It's perfect. The next day, Pepita asked Pepe to take the pot back up the pretty big hill to his grandmother Pepita's house. Uh, sure, Mom. No problem. Poor Pepe was pooped. Ugh. Ugh. Pepe put the pot down and decided he would race it up the pretty big hill. Okay, ready, set, go! But the pot didn't move. Come on, go, run, tickle, tickle. No matter what Pepe did, the pot wouldn't move. Then Pepe thought he had figured out why the pot wasn't moving. I bet you're tired from all that cooking you did last night, huh? How selfish of me. So Pepe carried the pot up the pretty big hill to his grandmother Paquita's house. Ugh. But don't get used to this, okay? Next time, you carry me. Story. Excuse me! Excuse me! Can't hold on much longer! <laughs> oh, that was funny! <laughs> yeah, it was! Oh, I wish I had a three legged pot to play with! Oh, your wish is this computer mouse's command! What can you play with a three-legged pot? Executing transport of three-legged pot. Wow! Oh, cool! Thank you, Clip. Thank you! Oh, you are welcome. <laughs> wow. Oh, and now, Lionel, we are ready to play with the three-legged pot. <laughs> we? Yeah, come on. Oh, please, Lionel. Pretty please, I'll be your best sister. Oh, okay. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, 
Okay, and don't forget the pot, all right? The pot? Yeah, it can't mm. walk, you know. Next on Between the Lions, our pick of perfect parts featuring the letter P. Pay attention, dudes! <laughs> Pot. P. P. Pens. Pets. Pants. Get ready to play with words with Artie Smarty Pants. Uh, thank you, thank you. Ooh, ah. And now it's time to play with words. And these are my Smarty Pants. Yes. And this is the word Pants. And what word will we have if we take away the Sound. Ants! in my spicy pants! Hey, I love to play with words! Here in Iowa, these are some fun words that begin with the letter P. Pig. Paint. Pants. Pumpkin. Can. Pizza. Mmm, pie. P. P. A is for Arthur and B is for bears. C is for computers, hey look. D is for desks and dinosaurs. And the Dewey Decimal System helps you find any book. E is for engines, encyclopedias. F is for fiction and facts. G is for guidebooks and gardening too H is how-to books, they even have snacks At the library, the library Get yourself a card and you've got yourself a key At the library, the library It's like A to Z and it's free I is information and joke books are J K is for Kenya and Kings L is for lion and librarian and M is for mysteries and music that swings N is for novels, I love Nate the Great O is for all the Oz books P is for poetry, paintings and plays Q is for questions, come on take a look At the library, the library Get yourself a card and you've got yourself a key At the library, the library It's like A to Z R is for restrooms and reading rooms too S is for songbooks, we've got quite a few Typewriters, TVs, both start with T And you as unicorns, video start with V WWW is for World Wide Web X is for xylophone Y is for books about yoga and Yates There's plenty of help, yeah, you're never alone Bet you you're thinking that Z is for zoo Zebras and zebus too Throw your brain a party and get three cheers For the library, the library Get yourself a card and you've got yourself a key At the library, the library It's like they to see When I prepare a meal, I need a pan, a pot, a platter, and of course, a plate. Mmm, perfect. It's Polly and the Pirate. Hi, I'm Polly, I'm a parent. I'm Polly, I'm a pirate. We search for treasure shouting yo ho ho. We think it's jolly that both our names are Polly. Yes, we're Polly and the Pirate. That's Polly and the Parent. And here's our show. 
we find Polly and the Pirate yet again in search of treasure. Today, it's a pot of gold. Polly will be rich! <laughs> Read the map, Polly. Where to today? Mark, it says walk to the next to last potato plant. First. Last. Next to last. After you trip on the hidden plow, crawl around the pepper plant poles. But be careful not to push the porcupine. You will now see a pumpkin patch. Start digging for treasure under the nearby tree. The treasure! A pot of gold! Rock made of bird seed! As another day of treasure hunting comes to an end, Polly and the pirate head back out to sea. Maybe next time there'll be something for me. Yo ho ho! Rock! Pot <laughs> I dress a three-legged pot as a beautiful ballerina. <laughs> Can I put it down now? No, I have to dance with it first, and it can't dance by itself. <laughs> dance with it. <laughs> oh, unless it's too heavy for my big, strong brother to carry. No, no. <laughs> I mean, no, no, it's not too heavy. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's, it's, it's light. <laughs> okay, yeah. click. Ballet music, please. No. <sighs> Downloading ballet music. <laughs> dance, Lionel, dance! Get <gasps> hold on much longer. Keep dancing! Ouch! The story you are about to see is recommended only for those who like to laugh. Ha ha. Thank you! When jammed. There was this kid. He was an ordinary kid. He was shorter than most and certainly not the smartest or, or the funniest kid. His name was Jabbo. He could tie his own shoes. And he could skip. And whistle. And he could almost snap his fingers, right? Yeah. Almost. Just like the jazz man next door. He had friends who could dance like crazy. They'd twirl and glide and jiggle and juke and even dance little jigs. But when he danced, Jabbo just sort of jerked and jumped and no one ever noticed. Yeah, Jabbo was ordinary, all right. But sometimes extraordinary just sneaks up on you. On some days after school, Jabbo would go to his Aunt Jitra's house and she'd bake him special treats like cupcakes or fresh biscuits with homemade jam. And one day, just as Jabbo had finished licking the brownie mix <coughs> off a big spoon, his Aunt Jitra handed him a cardboard tube. A cardboard tube to put in the recycling for. Jabbo hopped off the stool and suddenly he had a little idea. He took that cardboard tube and put the end of the tube up to his mouth. And he blew through it and made a little buzz. <laughs> Aunt Jitra said, do that again. And out came more sounds and notes. <laughs> he made up a whole song and began to march around the kitchen. <laughs> Playing his cardboard tube, Aunt Jitra jumped in right behind him, banging on a jello mold. Bang, bang, bang. This 
This isn't a cardboard tube, Jabbo shouted. This is my cardboard tuba! And Aunt Jitra laughed. <laughs> and out the door they went. <laughs> Across the yard. <laughs> up the sidewalk. <laughs> a jumble of kids from the neighborhood joined them, jostling in behind, forming a line. Hey, look at that, it's a parade! They were marching. A jolly jamboree grew. Dogs bark. <laughs> Blue jays squawk. <laughs> Jolly old men at their mailboxes. Hey, look at that, it's a jamboree. They joined joggers and janitors and judges, marching and clapping and stomping with joy. And the jazz man next door ran out of his kitchen door and started snapping his fingers. Nobody can jam like Jabbo can, he said. Jam on, Jabbo. And Jabbo actually began snapping his fingers with the jazz man. Really snapping them. That afternoon, Jabbo learned something. Extraordinary can sneak up on you. Doesn't take much to turn a ho-hum day into a humdinger. Right, Jabbo? like a job for? Who? Us. All oh, right, us. Us! Ha <laughs> ha! The All parental, right, parental okay, units in charge of us, sweetie, cubs, cubs. sweetie, honey. Freeze! Uh, Leona, Thank you. Whoa, Cleo's good. <sighs> Lionel! Mm. Now, Cubs, each of you think you're jamming just like Jabbo jammed, right? Oh, oh yeah, I, I am, but, but I he am. doesn't, he has any idea. Uh, Leona, Leona, I'm sorry, but neither of you are right. Huh? Mm -hmm. Nobody can jam Jabbo's jam just like Jabbo jams Jabbo's jam. Only Jabbo can jam Jabbo's jam just like Jabbo. Try saying that three times fast. Oh, mm. man. Wow. But Lionel, yes. nobody can jam Lionel's jam just like Lionel can. Mm. Hey. And Leona, huh? nobody can jam <gasps> Leona's jam. Leona's jam just like Leona can, right? <laughs> Lionel's jam. <laughs> yeah, Leona's jam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you know what else? No one can jam your jam just like you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Theo's jam. <laughs> Coming up next on Between the Lions, the J sound of the letter J. How jolly. Hey, I'm hanging here anyway. I might as well watch. And so should you. Jam. J. 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 Judge. Jug. Juggle. And now it's time for... Gwaine's word! Gwaine's word! Excellent! Gwaine here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word. Competing today, we have Sir J, J, and Sir Uggle. Uggle. Blend on, dudes. J, Uggle. J, Uggle. J, Uggle. J, Uggle. Uggle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Explain flaming torches. Right, oh, right. right. Juggle. Excellent. That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, Snuggle up with us again sometime. <laughs> and we'll see you next time on Gwen's Word. Gwen's Word. Eagle. 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 Jiggle. 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 Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Whoa. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle. It's game time and welcome.
Welcome to the Blending Bowl. I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I'll be doing the play-by-play -play today for this incredible showdown. In red, we have Team... And in white, we have Team... And there's the kickoff! Jump! Unbelievable! What a play! Jump! Jump! Jump. Well, that's about it, folks. And until next time for the Blending Bowl, I'm Terry Bradshaw. Hey, thanks for watching. And now it's time for... Those Magnificent Monkey Cheerleaders! <laughs> Ready? Okay! G-O-G! Jog! Hey, you just fell jog. So girls start jogging. Don't just stand there like a log. Okay! G-O-G! Jog! Come on, jog a little faster. Hey, we don't want folks to think that your feet are stuck in plaster. G-O-G! Jog! Beat it up some more and then... G-O-G! Jog! Jog around the track again. G-O-G! Jog! are some fun words that begin with the letter J. 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 Jacket. Jug. Jeans. Tooth. Jet. Jam. Jelly. J. J. And now, once again, it's time for the adventures of Sam Spud, parboiled potato detective. The name is Spud, Sam Spud. I was working late one night. The neon sign outside my window was on the fritz. It was about to drive me crazy when there was a knock at my door. Come in. She said she was in a real gym. Gym? That's not right. That shouldn't be an I, that should be an A, J-A-M, jam. She said she was in a real jam. As a matter of fact, she was in a real jam. Looked like raspberry to me. She leaned in close over my desk. I could tell right away things were going to get sticky. Oh. But I'd been in sticky oh. situations oh. before. Oh. Oh. Here, oh. let me help oh. you with that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> At last, it seemed like she was ready to spill the beans. As a matter of fact, whoa! I'd been wrong about the raspberries. Flying off the shelf once again, it's the continuing daring and dangling adventures of Cliffhanger! Today's adventure, Cliffhanger and the Judge of Jam Jar Jugglers. Cliffhanger, hanging from a cliff, and that's why he's called Cliffhanger. Excuse me, excuse me! We find Cliffhanger where we left him last, hanging from a cliff. Can't hold on much longer. Suddenly, Cliff spots a famous judge of Jam Jar Jugglers. Stop the Jeep, Jeeps! Hey, I'm a famous judge of Jam Jar Jugglers. Wanna try juggling some jam jars? Cliff reaches into his backpack, extracts his trusty survival manual, and begins to read. If a judge of jam jar jugglers asks you to juggle jam jars, then juggle. I'll try it. Okay, kid. If you're good enough, there's a part for you in the next Def Jam Jar Juggling movie. Best one-arm juggling act I ever saw. But sadly, the juggler in this movie has to juggle with two arms. Jeeps! Wait! Jeepers! And that's why he's called Cliffhanger! Can't hold on much longer! J. J. 
Jam. Yo, check it out! We're going surfing without a board, dudes! Okay, because we're surfing between the lion's website. <laughs> okay. Go to PBSKids.com.